Dear BCCA families, our BCCA school family is one week into the reality that every single person in the world is feeling the impact of COVID-19 crisis. Before I say anything, let me thank everyone for stepping up to do their part. Teachers, thank you for working around the clock since last Thursday to prepare lessons, record videos, research learning platforms, and online tools for facilitating instruction. Thank you parents for your patience with teachers as they plan and recalibrate instruction to continue learning without overwhelming you. Thanks too for sitting beside, standing over, and encouraging your child to do the work. Upper school students, thank you for joining in and attending the live classes, taking your test with integrity, submitting your assignments on time. Lower school students, thank you for reminding us of our future for sitting down with your parents to complete your assignments, for sending videos telling us what you have learned each day. COVID-19 reminds us all of our fragility, of our dependence on God, of the things that are most precious. School, the opportunity to learn without restriction, is one of those precious things. BCCA is committed to guarding the treasure encapsulated in learning. This is the reason that we will continue to offer online learning to all of our students for the duration of the time that we are under government mandate. For the most part, online instruction is designed with the needs of students and families in mind. Upper school students, grades seven through 12, are much more independent, thus teachers are using live classes and online assignments for these students. Lower school classes are taught with parents in mind. Assignments are given along with teacher-made videos and opportunities for students and parents to meet with teachers via online as needed. Times are set to mirror the school day when possible, but flexibility uh, is on the side of parents who can adjust coursework and instruction to their current work schedules as needed. Please know that we are all in uncharted territory. Therefore, communication is the key to success. Teachers will continue to adjust instruction when necessary for classes or for individuals. We realize that all of our previous stressors have been magnified by this crisis. Please reach out to teachers with your concerns for, or for their assistance. When you do, do not forget to thank them for continuing your child's education in the midst of caring for their own families. Their dedication to you is inspiring. In closing, I want to, us to, to remind us of what we already know, but often shelve until times of hardship. God is faithful, and he often demonstrates his faithfulness through his people. None of us should miss this chance to lean on him and let others lean on us. Teach your children that they can trust God by being measured in your response to them and to others. Teach your children that they are not powerless in this situation by helping them to pray for others help others and give to others. I say this because I believe it is true. People have a significant part to play in resolving the coronavirus. So fight fear with faith, fight greed with generosity, fight anger with patience and love. I do not believe it is coincidental that this worldwide crisis is unfolding during the Easter season. Easter reminds us that the power of death, fear, and sin was broken at the cross and in the tomb. Peace is the promise of a risen Savior. And may the peace of God, which transcends human understanding, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Thank you.